Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today I'm super excited. We are going to be going over a lot viewing for my Whatnot coin auctions that are going to be taking place today at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's the 15th and the 21st. Um, I'll get started with some of the graded coins. Uh, the first segment is going to be tonight, um, but... For $15 off um, your first order on the platform, uh, make sure to sign up through my link, which is at the top of the description. Um, so yeah, you'll get 15 bucks for free. Um, so yeah, let's just start with the coins. So in front of us, we've got an XF45 Hungarian Kremnica Mint 1896 Millennium Commemorative for a thousand years of Hungary. It's top pop at PCGS, um, so they haven't graded any uh, nicer than that. Um, this next one is a French Indochina, so Vietnam uh, XF Detail 10 centimes from 1937. Um, unfortunately, it's cleaned, but it's got some pretty monster toning. Um, so I figured that that would be sort of a cool one-off item. I graded that one myself. Um, I've got this PCGS commemorative uh, medal. I've got a toned Morgan Dollar Mint State 63, um, and then a really nice Mint State 65 brown Prussian Fennig, um, one Fennig from uh, the B-Mint. So that was just after uh, they were incorporated. We've got a Key Date 1954 Canadian Mint State 64 quarter, um, and then we've got a few... Uh, we've got two ancients. I may try to add one XF um, from Maximian um, Aurelianus, um, and then Aurelia Aurelianianus, I believe, is the proper pronunciation. Then a Diocletian uh, in choice VF, um, both with pretty nice portraits, a uh, little bit of corrosion. Then 1960, 1962 proof 67 coins, and then a double die reverse cherry picker's guide FS502 repunchment mark two. Um, so both a double die reverse and a repunchment mark. Um, pretty, pretty cool with some nice blue toning on it, um, graded by Anex. Now there's, um, the thing is, b there are a lot more lots in addition to what I'm showing off um, that I'll be including in these um, sales. So uh, these are just some of the ones I've been processing uh, because I bought a few collections recently, but we've got a mix of Mexican and Cuban items. There's a British India 1944, 50% silver. Here's a World War II Mexican one peso. It's got some interesting coloration, a clean three mark from um, Bavaria. And then I got this great uh, group of Christ and Byzantine um, Follis coins. So lots of the classic, you know, Jesus Christ, King of Kings, um, different types here um, with Christ on the portrait. That's Jesus Christ Conquer. Um, so they have a little bit of green on them. Um, for the most part, and some interesting overstrikes, but they're also, you know, very clear, well-detailed um, Byzantine, mo in most cases, Christ Follis. So, um, pretty exciting group there. I've never sold these before because they're very rare. Um, here we have a South Himyar fraction, so like 2nd century uh, AD, most likely, um, from uh, Arabia, and then here's a Persis, so that would be like sub-kings of the Parthian Empire, um, uh, probably like Hemiobol or something like that, or um, and then a third century or I think fourth century. It's like 320 BC um, Mauryan Empire uh, type series IVD um, silver Karshapana or Magadha Karshapana, um, and then we have a bunch of Constantine the Great. He was the uh, emperor who converted to Christianity and did some great reforms. Um, some of his follies. So. Anyways, those are pretty exciting, but maybe we'll get into more of a formal. The other thing, by the way, is that this is part of the other collection that I got in. These are all U.S. items, um, and so I'm going to try to process a bunch of this stuff for the sales, um, you know, but just tons and tons of coins, um, you know, really nice batch, uh, bunch of large cents, bunch of cool barbers and Standing Liberty quarters, um, so I'm trying to get through that. Um, some of those coins will definitely be added to tonight's sale. Um, maybe I'll take a brief look at some of these group lots. Um, this is for tonight. Uh, again, um, all this stuff for tonight. Some nice jeton from Louis the Thirteenth, um, and then we've got some pretty nice. I mean, it's hold, but it's a Filipino U.S. World War II item um, with some large silver coins in here. A silver groschen from I think 1867 or something large great british coin i mean yeah these are the group lots i made are nice venezuelan silver 
Um, that's an Australian 50% silver coin. Here you have a Lib uh, Lebanese coin. This one's scratched, but it's a full Newfoundland 92.5% silver 50 cent coin. So there's definitely an increase in quality of the group items. Here's a non-silver but better uh, world coin. Actually, there is a 10% silver coin in there. Um, and then we've got one World War II lot. So uh, a nicer Filipino um, 50 centavo German, um, Nazi German coin. Um, and then it uh, looks like two other jetons. This one's actually really nice, 1657, 1629. Um, you know, so a, some premium quality stuff there. Um, and then in terms of, let's see, I think that this next section is like a good mix of US, but we've got some Canadian silver dollars, some nice uh, peace silver dollars. Uh, this one has something going on odd with it, um, 1902, but there's also a nice mix of like, better looking, whether it's XF or AU or possibly nicer um, items. And then we've got, you know, decent looking 18 two cent piece, three cent piece, seated dime, um, some error coinage. You know, there's there's a good mix of stuff in here. Um, some crown size silver, which I try to always have in the auctions. Um, and then East India Company and two commemorative halves. So anyways, that's just the start. I'm going to have some large cents and some of the other nicer type that I showed you um, just before. Uh, and then in addition to that, I'm going to have a mix of world items, Bengal presidency coin. Um, we've got a Bulgarian Christ coin from the 1300s, uh, a silver three polker, Austrian Fennig from over six, 700 years ago, uh, French five francs, Russian wire money, um, a nice group of Mexican silver coins, um, another Mori or Mauryan Empire, but it's a different type of Karshapana. And then check this out. This one could be the star. There's a big scratch in it, but it's a pretty nice looking 1788 real. I mean, really, really nice piece of world uh, history. And then we've got um, some other three mark coins. We've got a, why are all these upside down? I gotta shift this around here. Um, we've got a Swedish 1732 one or. Uh, a two-or from 1749. Tabaristani hemidram. We got some medals. We've got a possibly 16th, 17th century. I mean, it's nice. Jesus Christ, IC, XC. Um, or possibly Raguso. Uh, it's a Grosetto, though. Silver coin with a small hole in it. Picciolo, Denaro. Um, nice UK uh, silver um, of different sorts. This one's in, like, has some upper premium condition. Crusader States Antioch item. Um, and then two Cilician Armenian coins, but you know, gonna be adding more than that, of course. And I do have um, a brief mix of Ottoman and other Islamic nations, uh, or this one's an Akbar the Great, um, but uh, Ayyubid, you know, nice coin. Some of some new mixes, you know, Karmatid, um, that's a nicer item. And this Hassan Wahid, haven't sold very many of those. Um, Durham, uh, so you know reminiscent of some of the other Umayyad Durhams. This is like a nice on look, a uh, larger uh, Ottoman silver coin from like 400 years ago, Medini. Um, a mix of Aksha coins. Uh, again, I, I have a good source for them. And so, you know, th these are nice, challenging to find, uh, not readily available. Old Yemeni coins, Mamluk Sultanate uh, items as well here. Um, and then uh, we've got, that one's Ayyubid from a different ruler, Morocco. Uh, six seven hundreds. That one's a very nice Wasit Durham, um, and then we've got a Sassanian. One of those sold for extremely cheap in the last sale. So I'll hope that they go for a bit more than that. But again, also going to be bolstering the ancient group. But I'll show you uh, the ancients for tonight. Um, outside of one precious metal, uh, Congo Plesiosaurus. Um, but we've got a Strasbourg dinar from eleven fifty to eleven ninety. Judean um, Pruda from the Judean War. Um, we've got a much older Sass Sassanid um, Durham. And then here looks like a Licinius, who was uh, one of the Tetrarchy and was conquered by Constantine the Great. Um, Follis coin, uh, possibly two. Uh, and then we've got a interest, is that Claudicus Gothicus um, Antoniniani. We've got a Medusa Gorgon. We've got, Poss is this a Cappadocian? Dram could be something like that, um, I believe so. And then uh, we've got a Amosos Pontos um, 
bronze. Uh, we've got some Julian the Apostate and uh, just other, uh, you know, nice looking 4th century bronze. Really nice Alexandrian tetradram. That one's a pretty good one. Um, and then we've got a few nice, you know, nice denarii. We've got one of these Rhodes drams, uh, which are always expensive. Have to start those at a higher price. Nice Byzantine items, uh, Gallienus. Uh, and then that's an interesting, different looking um, Christ Phallus, but a nice one. Um, more good looking denarii. Um, dinars, so not denarii, but dinars from Hungary uh, in the 13 and 1600s. Oops. And I have unfortunately dropped a bunch of the other items that I was going to sell. Um, so that's going to be a pain for later to put them back in order. We've got nice Byzantine items. Euboea Histea, 2200-year-old silver. Uh, Kreuzer, very nice 1690. Um, Jeton from France. Herod Agrippa Pruda. Um, Greek Litra, an, uh, another um, widow's mite uh, from a very long time ago. I'm running out of these Persian Sigloi, but um, yeah, that will be uh, one of the last super nice ones I have for a while. Uh, a nice half shilling from Germany in 1400s, a Celtic coin, uh, actually with a pretty solid portrait of a horse, um, and then an Indo-Scythian unit. Mm, denarius here, I'm picking up the pieces as I go along. Another Denarius, wow, it's sort of stacked here. Very nice posthumous Antoniani, Gallic Breakaway Emperor, 260 AD or so. Um, and then a few other um, nice Roman imperial items. So um, that's everything I have at the very present moment outside of some group lots for tonight. Um, but again, going to be adding a bunch of U.S. coins um, and an interesting mix of other stuff. On this side, um, for Tuesday, we've got a uh, also FS012, I think it's a repunch mint mark, Roosevelt Dime, Anax, uh, Extra Fine 40, Double Die Averse 1966 SMS coin, um, a triple clipped mint error um, penny, uh, and then we've got two solid graded ancients, um, some two Franklins, different grades um, from before, and then a few nice world graded items, 1841 over zero uh, jersey, um, we've got a mint state 64 Canadian, I've got a 1928 mint state 64 French. 50 centimes, and then an 1882 five decimos from Colombia, uh, and very fine, 25. So um, both quite solid items there. Um, I'm trying to think of the other mix that we'll have. I mean, we'll have some of the usual suspects, but I'm going to try to, I'm, I will round it out with a bunch of uh, new um, wilder coins, especially from the new collections I've been processing. Um, 1880 Morgan, 1888 that one's cleaned Morgan, 1890, that one looks better, and 98, I mean, these are nice looking Morgans, 1921, 1926, and 22 piece, two Canadian, um, there's going to be, you know, everything from Jeton to um, nicer, you know, I think that there's at least one, uh, ooh, we've got a pillar, 1736, eight reals, I mean, so that should be pretty exciting, um, that'll be a more expensive item, uh, not something I get to sell very often at all, um, we've got a five mark um, from Germany, and you know I'll continue to add some larger coins to this. A nicer looking uh, Baden von, von Württemberg, um, you know, silver item. Um, here's a really solid 1645, or um, and then everything from yeah, very nice Jersey uh, bronzes and coppers to a you know large silver medal, more modern from Hamburg. We can take a quick look at some of the jeton here. Um, nice 1632, uh, another Louis the 13th. That one's around 1700 with great condition. That one's really nice, interesting procession, 1723. Uh, also a Russian five ruble from 1780. So, um, you know, we're, we got some cool stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing you all tonight, um, and then it'll be great to follow up the auctions next Tuesday. Over on Whatnot, those links are in um, the top of the description, and yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to visit our website, treasuretown.com, to stay up to date on everything going on on the channel, and possibly get some great deals on coins and collectibles. We look forward to seeing you on our future videos, and best wishes until then.